Hi, we are Bob and Keitha Lawrence. We have been attending Grace for ever, <laughs> give or take a few years, and uh, we love small groups. Yeah, um, we love small groups for a lot of different reasons. I think the first one that we noticed when we started doing small groups, first at Grace and then at another church and then back again at Grace, is that they make a large church feel small. So, um, especially coming into a new church, it can be very intimidating. There's a lot of people you don't know, but when you get plugged in at a small group, you will recognize people on Sunday morning. And that's really nice. You meet people who have kids the same age as yours or who are in different stages of life, but it's still nice to know people on Sundays. Sure. And it allows you to take those relationships to kind of a next level beyond what you would uh, just have. On a, from knowing somebody on Sunday morning and just those kind of passing relationships. In fact, out of the small groups that we've attended here, um, you know, we've, we've had the privilege of having some of those families into our home for dinners and game nights and things like that um, because they're really, they're, they're almost more like family now than, uh, than you know, just church acquaintances. Uh, it's just a kind of a, a deeper, more intimate relationship uh, that, you, that you get. Um, yeah, I, I think that, um, especially for us, we're parents to toddlers. Our lives are really hectic, and sometimes it um, relationships are just not really a priority outside of our house. So small groups are a really good way for us specifically to be, and, and other people, to be intentional about forming relationships within the church. We also really like small groups um, because it is an opportunity to discuss um, specific things. For example, at um, Grace, you have the opportunity to go through the sermon series and expand on that. Um, we really like doing marriage studies with other um, younger married couples and with older married couples. Um, there's a lot of wisdom to pass around, and we really enjoy that. And uh, one of the things that we love about small group format at Grace is that you don't get locked into the same group for uh, years at a time if you don't want to there's just the, the truth is that some groups won't be uh, a good fit for some people so the nice thing is that you can try a group out and if it's not a good fit for you then the next um, next semester rolls around and, and you can try a, try you know you can try a different group um, and see if that's a better fit and then you know of course there are some groups that have been together for years uh, and they're, they're they're like families um so those are uh, those are good fits but um it kind of allows you the opportunity to kind of expand past those established relationships and and build some build some new friendships as well um, we were able to host a summer life group for Grace, and we really enjoyed it. It was really casual. It was really fun. We got to know some people that we hadn't known that well prior to it. And for us, hosting a small group gave us an opportunity to practice intentional hospitality. Sometimes with life going here and there, and my house is always messy, um, it, it's really easy to just never invite people over. And hosting a small group was a really good, it was really good for us because every two weeks we had people coming over, whether we liked it or not. And I think that hospitality, practicing hospitality is something that God calls us to as believers. And hosting a life group is just a really good way to practice that. Absolutely. And, you know, you don't have to be a perfect Christian to lead a small group. You don't have to have a perfect house to invite people into it. Mm -hmm. um, you have to just have a willing and hospitable heart. Uh, and be willing to be willing to uh, to learn as as well as you know maybe teach a little. Um, so I guess our encouragement would be if you're interested in leading a small group, then don't be intimidated by that. Uh, as long as you love people, mm -hmm. then that's that's the biggest requirement. And uh, and if the thought of inviting a huge group of people into a group of people into your house is giving you hives at the moment, um, maybe just try getting involved in a life group first and seeing how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that for us, um, personally, um, the, the, the temptation is always to impress people who come into our house. We're very competitive in that way. 
And so this time around, we really had to let that go. And instead of focusing on impressing people in our life group, we just focused on nurturing them, mm -hmm. offering them a safe place to come and form relationships. And hopefully when we host in the future, just to learn more. Um, we can all, we all have things we can learn from each other. Um, not everybody has their finger on, you know, every single thing. Nobody knows everything. And so life group is a really great way to learn from each other. Yeah. So do it. Do it. <laughs> that was so stupid.